Over here. Who is that? Grey Wardens? Well, he's not half as dead as he looks, is he? My scouting band was attacked by Darkspawn. They came out of the ground. Please, help me. I've got to return to camp. I have bandages in my pack. Thank you. Oh. I... I've got to get out of here. Did you hear? An entire patrol of seasoned men killed by Darkspawn. Calm down, Sir Jory. We'll be fine if we're careful. Those soldiers were careful, and they were still overwhelmed. How many Darkspawn can the four of us slay? A dozen? A hundred? There's an entire army in these forests. There are Darkspawn about, but we're in no danger of walking into the bulk of the Horde. How do you know? I'm not a coward, but this is foolish and reckless. We should go back. I still do not relish the thought of encountering an army. Know this. All Grey Wardens can sense Darkspawn. Whatever their cunning, I guarantee they won't take us by surprise. That's why I'm here. You see, Sir Knight, we might die, but we'll be warned about it first. That is... reassuring. That doesn't mean I'm here to make this easy, however. So let's get a move on.
I'll do it. Well, well, what have we here? Are you a vulture, I wonder? A scavenger poking amidst a corpse whose bones were long since cleaned? Or merely an intruder, come into these dark spawn filled wilds of mine in search of easy prey? What say you, hmm? Scavenger or intruder? <laughs> because I know them as only one who owns them could. Can you claim the same? I have watched your progress for some time. Where do they go, I wondered. Why are they here? And now you disturb ashes none have touched for so long. Why is that? Don't answer her. She looks chastened, and that means others may be nearby. Oh, you fear barbarians will swoop down upon you. Yes, swooping is bad. She's a witch of the wild, she is. She'll turn us into toads. Witch of the wilds. Such idle fancies, those legends. 
Have you no minds of your own? You there, dwarf. You have nothing to fear from any witch. Tell me your name, and I shall tell you mine. Let us be civilized. And you may call me Morrigan, if you wish. Shall I guess your purpose? You sought something in that chest? Something that is here no longer? Here no longer? You stole them, didn't you? You're some kind of sneaky witch thief. How very eloquent. How does one steal from dead men? Quite easily, it seems. Those documents are Grey Warden property, and I suggest you return them. I will not, for it was not I who removed them. Invoke a name that means nothing here any longer if you wish. I am not threatened. Twas my mother, in fact. Yes, my mother. Did you assume I spawned from a log? A thieving, weird talking log, perhaps? Not all in the wilds are monsters. Flowers grow as well as toads. If you wish, I will take you to my mother. Tis not far from here, and you may ask her for your papers if you like. We should get those treaties, but I dislike this Morrigan's sudden appearance. It's too convenient. She prefers her privacy, but I imagine she will be curious enough why you were here. Come, see for yourself. Why not? I do not meet many people here. Are you all so mistrustful? She'll put us all in the pot, she will. Just you watch. If the pot's warmer than this forest, it'll be a nice change. Follow me then, if it pleases you. Greetings, Mother. I bring before you four Grey Wardens who... I see them, girl. Hmm. Much as I expected. Are we supposed to believe you were expecting us? You are required to do nothing, least of all believe. Shut one's eyes tight or open one's arms wide. Either way, one's a fool. She's a witch, I tell you. We shouldn't be talking to her. Quiet, Dareth. If she's really a witch, do you want to make her mad? There is a smart lad. Sadly irrelevant to the larger scheme of things, but it is not I who decides. Believe what you will. And what of you? Does your dwarven mind give you a different viewpoint? What do you believe? Oh, if you must protest so quickly, perhaps I need not ask. So much about you is uncertain, and yet I believe. Do I? Why, it seems I do. So this is a dreaded Witch of the Wilds. Witch of the Wilds, huh? Morrigan must have told you that. She fancies such tales, though she would never admit it. Oh, how she dances under the moon. <laughs> they did not come to listen to your wild tales, Mother. True, they came for their treaties, yes? And before you begin barking, your precious seal wore off long ago. I have protected these. You... Oh, you protected them. And why not? Take them to your Grey Wardens and tell them this Blight's threat is greater than they realize. Either the threat is more, or they realize less. Or perhaps the threat is nothing. <laughs> Or perhaps they realize nothing. <laughs> oh, do not mind me. <laughs> you have what you came for. Time for you to go, then. Do not be ridiculous, girl. These are your guests. Oh, very well. I will show you out of the woods. Follow me.
bar is stable for now, but not improving. Unless I get that herb I told you about, there's not much hope. Let me see. Yeah, that's exactly it. Wonderful. Yeah, give me a moment and I'll make this into an ointment. <laughs> he looks better already. I'm sure he'd thank you himself if he could. Let's give him a day or two to recover. Why not come back after the battle? Perhaps we can see about imprinting him on you. Maybe. It's likely he understands you're responsible for curing him. Mabari are at least as smart as your average tax collector. Come back after the battle and just... Well, take another look. So, you returned from the wilds. Have you been successful? Good. I've had the Circle Mages preparing. With the blood you've retrieved, we can begin the joining immediately. There was a woman at the tower, and her mother had scrolls. They were both very... odd. Were they wilder folk? I don't think so. They might be apostates. Mages hiding from the Chantry. I know you were once a Templar, Alistair, but Chantry business is not ours. We have the scrolls. Let us focus on the joining. I will not lie. We Grey Wardens pay a heavy price to become what we are. Fate may decree that you pay your price now, rather than later. I agree. Let's have it done. Then let us begin. Alistair, take them to the old temple. The more I hear about this joining, the less I like it. Are you blubbering again? Why all these damn tests? Have I not earned my place? Maybe it's tradition. Maybe they're just trying to annoy you. I only know that my wife is in Hyover with a child on the way. If they had warned me, I... It just doesn't seem fair. Would you have come if they'd warned you? Maybe that's why they don't. The Wardens do what they must, right? Including sacrificing us? I'd sacrifice a lot more if I knew it would end the Blight. Yes, yeah, Sir Knight. Try not to wet your trousers until the ritual starts. I've just never faced a foe I could not engage with my blade. At last, we come to the joining. The Grey Wardens were founded during the First Blight, when humanity stood on the verge of annihilation. So it was that the first Grey Wardens drank of Darkspawn blood and mastered their taint. We're going to drink the blood of those... those creatures? As the first Grey Wardens did before us, as we did before you. This is the source of our power and our victory. Those who survive the joining become immune to the taint. We can sense it in the Darkspawn and use it to slay the Archdemon. We speak only a few words prior to the joining. These words have been said since the first. Alistair, if you would. Join us, brothers and sisters. Join us in the shadows where we stand vigilant. Join us as we carry the duty that cannot be forsworn. And should you perish, know that your sacrifice will not be forgotten. And that one day, we shall join you. Davith, step forward. Too much. 
There is no glory in this. I am sorry. But the joining is not yet complete. You are called upon to submit yourself to the taint for the greater good. From this moment forth, you are a Grey Warden. Two more deaths. In my joining, only one of us died, but it was horrible. I'm glad at least one of you made it through. How do you feel? Did you have dreams? I had terrible dreams after my joining. Such dreams come when you begin to sense the dark spawn, as we all do. That and many other things can be explained in the months to come. Before I forget, there is one last part to your joining. We take some of that blood and put it in a pendant. Something to remind us of those who didn't make it this far. Take some time. When you're ready, I'd like you to accompany me to a meeting with the King. The meeting is to the west, down the stairs. Please attend as soon as you're able. If the King wants to see you and Duncan, you probably shouldn't keep him waiting. You might get mad. Start crying. You'll feel bad. Well, it won't matter. If the King wants to see you and Duncan, you probably shouldn't keep him waiting. You might get mad. I understand your joining is complete. You are blessed by the Maker. Logain, my decision is final. I will stand by the Grey Wardens in this assault. You risk too much, Caelan. The Darkspawn Horde is too dangerous for you to be playing hero on the front lines. If that's the case, perhaps we should wait for the Orlesian forces to join us after all. I must repeat my protest to your fool notion that we need the Orlesians to defend ourselves. It is not a fool notion. Our arguments with the Orlesians are a thing of the past, and you will remember who is king. How fortunate Marek did not live to see his son ready to hand Ferelden over to those who enslaved us for a century. Then our current forces will have to suffice, won't they? Duncan, are your men ready for battle? They are, Your Majesty. And this is the recruit I met earlier on the road? I understand congratulations are in order. I suppose none of us do, but every Grey Warden is needed. Your fascination with glory and legends will be your undoing, Kalen. We must attend to reality. Fine. Speak your strategy. The Grey Wardens and I draw the Darkspawn into charging our lines, and then? You will alert the tower to light the beacon, signaling my men to charge from To cover. flank the Darkspawn, I remember. This is the Tower of Ishal in the ruins, yes? Well, who shall light this beacon? I have a few men stationed there. It's not a dangerous task, but it is vital. Then we should send our best. Send Alistair and the new Grey Warden to make sure it's done. No. It's best that you both go. You rely on these Grey Wardens too much. Is that truly wise? Enough of your conspiracy theories, Loghain. 
Grey Wardens battle the Blight no matter where they're from. Your Majesty, you should consider the possibility of the Arch Demon appearing. There have been no signs of any dragons in the wilds. Isn't that what your men are here for, Duncan? I... Yes, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, the tower and its beacon are unnecessary. The we Circle will of not Magi... trust any lives to your spells, Mage. Save them for the Darkspawn. Enough! This plan will suffice. The Grey Wardens will light the beacon. Thank you, Logain. I cannot wait for that glorious moment. The Grey Wardens battle beside the King of Ferelden to stem the tide of evil. Yes, Kaelin. A glorious moment for us all. You heard the plan. You and Alistair will go to the Tower of Ishal and ensure the beacon is lit. What? I won't be in the battle. This is by the King's personal request, Alistair. If the beacon is not lit, Tern Logain's men won't know when to charge. So he needs two Grey Wardens standing up there holding the torch, just in case, right? That is not your choice. If King Kaelin wishes Grey Wardens to ensure the beacon is lit, then Grey Wardens will be there. We must do whatever it takes to destroy the Darkspawn, exciting or no. I get it, I get it. Just so you know, if the King ever asks me to put on a dress and dance the Remigold, I'm drawing the line. Darkspawn or no. I have my dignity. Well, some. <sighs> the tower is on the other side of the gorge from the King's camp, the way we came when we arrived. You'll need to cross the gorge and head through the gate and up to the tower entrance. From the top, you'll overlook the entire valley. We will signal you when the time is right. Alistair will know what to look for. We soil our drawers, that's what. If it does, leave it to us. I want no heroics from either of you. Stay with the Terran's men and guard the tower. If you are needed, we will send word. Then I must join the others. From here, you two are on your own. Remember, you are both Grey Wardens. I expect you to be worthy of that title. Duncan, may the Maker watch over you. May he watch over us all. <laughs>